Hey guys, Dr. Rob here today, and I wanted to welcome you to my next whiteboard session. Today, we're gonna to be discussing some of the causes to type two diabetes. Like, so how does this disease develop? So if you have type two diabetes, or you're concerned about developing diabetes, or if you have a family history of diabetes, or if there's just someone you love that has diabetes, listen to this video, watch this video. So the first thing we're gonna cover is what happens in the type two diabetics body. So that's not supposed to happen, okay? So this is what's happening that's not supposed to happen. So first off, in a healthy person, what's supposed to happen is you eat like some pasta or you eat some type of carbohydrate, fruits, whatever it is, and that raises your blood sugar. So all these little red dots here, that's gonna represent your blood sugar. So your blood sugar goes up. That then sends a message to your pancreas. Your pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin travels through the blood and it plugs into a receptor. Just like a key fits into a lock, we have a whole bunch of different receptors that line the surface of our cells. The insulin fits in that receptor much like a key fits into a lock. And when the insulin gets into that receptor, it gives a message to the cell that says absorb the blood sugar, right? We don't wanna go into a coma, so let's get the blood sugar into the cell where it belongs. So what happens now is the cell opens up. It doesn't really happen just like this, but for intensive purposes, this will work. So the sugar then gets reduced in the blood and it goes into the cell. So here's then our blood sugar now being in the cell. Once the blood sugar is in the cell, then we, your body leaves some of it in the blood because we need to have some in the blood. And then our cell closes up. That's what's supposed to happen in a normal healthy person. What happens in a type two diabetic doesn't work that way. What happens in a type two diabetic is this. We have a bunch of sugar in the blood, okay? So here's all of our sugar in the blood and a message goes from the blood to the pancreas, letting it know, hey, blood sugar is elevated. Pancreas sends its hormone insulin out. The insulin plugs into the receptor just like before, and it gives the message to the cell, but the message doesn't get there because the receptor is broken. The receptor is the delivery portal for the message. It's like you type it on email, and then whatever happens in cyberspace to get that email to someone, that's what the receptor does. It's the messenger. It gives the message from the insulin to the cell, and it's the receptor that's broken. So the insulin says, hey cell, absorb sugar, and only a little bit of the message gets through. So the cell only opens up a little bit, and we only absorb a little bit of blood sugar. So what's happening now? Our blood sugar is high. So now what happens, is the body goes, wow, the blood sugar is still high. So we're gonna need to then go ahead and make more insulin. So we're gonna need to make more insulin to correct this blood sugar problem. So the body makes more insulin. That insulin travels through the blood, finds another cell, plugs into another receptor. So it finds another cell, plugs into another receptor. And again, we lower our blood sugar but just a little bit. So we only lower it a little bit. So the blood sugar is still high. So guess what's happening now? Now we're getting another message because the pancreas goes, man, the blood sugar is still high. What's going on? So the pancreas makes more insulin and more insulin and more insulin. So we get all this insulin floating around the body, which is horrible because insulin, too much of it is inflammatory to the body. It increases inflammation. Insulin is the most powerful fat storing hormone. In the presence of too much, of too much insulin, you're not gonna lose weight, period. Okay, so this is a problem at the receptor. And there are specific ways that you eat and there's specific nutritional supplements that you take to help support the body's ability to correct these receptors. Now, I don't claim to treat type two diabetes, although I have a great track record with these guys. A lot of patients that have come to me over the years, they said they've gotten great results with their diabetes. Again, I'm not claiming to treat it, it's just what happens, right? So what causes this? What causes the breakdown in this receptor? Well, one, nutritional deficiencies. There are key nutritional deficiencies that will stop these receptors from working particularly the trace minerals vanadium and the trace minerals chromium. There's also imbalances in various B vitamins that can occur.
that can also interfere with the effectiveness of this insulin receptor. The next thing that can cause this problem to occur is what's called extracellular or lymphatic congestion. You see, you have a cell like we drew up here on the board. And remember this, this hormone right here, that has to get into that receptor. That hormone has to get into that receptor. So here's the hormone out here. It's gotta go, man. It's gotta go. It's gotta get into that receptor. Extracellular, extra means outside and cellular means cell. So extracellular congestion is when we got, or extracellular lymphatic congestion is when we got a bunch of inflammation, fluid, that's all around the cell. So this is purple out here is gonna represent inflammatory fluid, yuckiness. Think of like when your nose gets congested and it's all like, it's hard to you know, breathe in. That's what's occurring here at the cellular level. We have this congestion that's occurring at the cellular level. Now, when we have lymphatic congestion there, uh-uh, it's a problem. We can't get that hormone, that insulin, right? This insulin can't get into the receptor because it's being blocked. We got basically a wall here. We got a huge barrier there. So for some cases, we have to look and see, do they have lymphatic congestion? And if a type two diabetic does have lymphatic congestion, then we got to cleanse their lymph, right? Got to clean out their liver. We got to clean out their lymph. So what's another cause of type two diabetes? Another cause are toxins, particularly endocrine disruptors like phthalates, which come from plastics. I will put the name here. Here's the word phthalate. So strange word, um, lots of pHs in there. So phthalates, they come from plastics. They're the things that make the plastics flexible. And there are some studies that indicate phthalates, what they do, and what some other, what some other um, endocrine disruptors do, is they directly block the receptor. So remember, the insulin has to get into that receptor. Well here, did you ever take a key, put it into a lock and it fit, but you went to turn the lock and oh, not the right key, right? Similar thing happens here. You can have toxins that look a lot like insulin. See this toxin? is gonna look a lot like insulin. They're similar, if you could see that, right? So they're similar. The insulin goes ahead and it's competing for this receptor. Well, if there's a bunch of these toxins that are floating around here in the bloodstream, that insulin has competition, man. It's got competition for its receptor. And what will happen is these toxins, these toxins will actually block up the receptor. Now we got a problem because if that insulin can't get into that receptor, big problem. If that insulin can't get into the receptor, then it can't tell that cell to absorb sugar. Then guess what? We're not getting any sugar getting absorbed. And now we have a condition then of type two diabetes, which is our blood sugar's too high, but not because we're not making enough insulin, it's because the insulin can't get the message to the cell. And that's typically the different causes. Be a damaged receptor because the person has eaten so many carbohydrates and so much junk food in their life, they've caused that insulin receptor to lose its sensitivity for insulin. It's become resistant to insulin, which is essentially what type two diabetes is. It's just a massive insulin resistant case that can no longer manage its blood sugar. So a person that's type two diabetic, if they want to help themselves, they got to identify what's my underlying cause. Is it due to a variety of nutritional emphases or nutritional imbalances? If it is, then I need to handle that. Is it due to my receptor being brick, basically broken because I've eaten so many carbohydrates? If there is, there are specific ways that you need to eat to help reset that sensitivity in the receptor. If there's toxins, you need to find out which ones and get them out of the body. Yep, we do have tests that help us to look at that, to identify those. And four, is there, or also, is there lymphatic congestion? And if there is, you gotta identify that and handle that. So whatever the cause is, you gotta handle your cause. If you have type two diabetes, again, I do not claim the treatment, or if you have some type of health problem or weight problem and you wanna get help, I'm gonna put a link down here to my free online weight loss and health evaluation. Please take a moment, fill that eval evaluation out. It is an awesome tool that helps take the first major step in us understanding what the underlying cause of your health or weight issue might be. So first big step. Um, so please fill it out if you want some help. Um, also too, if you like today's information, you found value in it, 
please subscribe or share with a friend. Sharing is caring, and I want to just help as many people as I can. And I really appreciate you guys. I want to take a second and say thank you, because I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, my whole purpose is just to help. I really just want to help you. So, um, so thanks. Thanks for taking the time. And you know, if there's any specific topics you want me to cover, let me know. I'm happy to cover it. I really, I just, I don't know. I just like helping people. So, all right, in any event, um, if you like this information, subscribe, share with a friend, and I will catch you at the next whiteboard session. See ya.